Welcome back everyone to another episode of Starbound. Yeah, we are finally back. I had to take a little bit of a bigger break. But now we are up and running again. And we are getting attacked right away. Okay, that was no big problem. Let's get rid of this earth block here. It's distracting my view. And head a little bit to the left and collect some ores that we will need. craft armor and tools and the distress beacon. Well, we will build the, uh, the distress beacon as soon as we have an iron hunting bow and our racial tier armor. So we need at first the copper armor and then we need enough iron to upgrade it. And since we also need iron to build an anvil, we need pretty much iron. We also gather some wains. I won't jump down there because there's a lot of poison pools. I don't know why, but I always have the luck to encounter a lot of poison pools on the planets I am. So, get this copper here, and also a little bit of silver. <coughs> In the last LP round, before the update, I recognized something. There was no iron on the higher tier planets. But there was always coal, silver, copper, stuff like that. And um, yeah, in the pixel refinery, it was not possible to refine iron or titanium or all the higher tier stuff. It was only able to refine the precious metals. Or like copper, silver, gold, platinum, diamond ore, stuff like that. And so, since we need steel for the creature capture pots, I think we have to gather a lot of iron before we move on to a planet where there's no iron anymore. I think it all started with the EG salt. So threat level 5 planets. Or better to say the threat level planets behind the X sector. Or maybe even the Delta sector. I'm not sure anymore. And we find here quite a lot of iron. Which isn't too useful for us as long as we don't have enough copper, because we need the copper armor to build the iron armor stuff. But I'm I'm curious what it will look like. We know how the iron armor looks on an apex and on the florin. Oh no. And I definitely need a better weapon. The spare isn't too bad. Since we just found it and was better. At least the DPS was better 
than the weapon we started with. What are you doing? I should craft some bandages. It's getting pretty dangerous. So, here's the first snow biome. Over. Triple hop. So this is what you're doing there? You jump three times? What was that? What's... Uh oh, something is wrong. Okay. What is it? I haven't seen a debuff icon. And I haven't seen anything attacking me. Whoa, what's wrong? Oh, is it... Is it the rain? I think the rain is damaging us. Is it acid rain or something like this? That would be horrible. Okay, I'm gonna sleep for a while until our health is back up is back up and yeah when the rain isn't gone until then then I will build a little bit on our underground hideout here because we still need to plant our seeds. And I should also have enough materials to build a bow. Yeah, we should do a little bit crafting after we replenished our health. So see you then. Okay, let's try this out one more time. We don't get any damage here, but as soon as we move over here, yeah, we get damaged. It is, it is definitely acid rain. What the heck? Okay, so let's dig a little bit into this direction and get the gold. And maybe... Do I have a campfire? No, I don't have a campfire. No, okay. Let's build a campfire and let's directly upgrade it to... A stone furnace. Where is the stone furnace? Here it is. Okay. We can now smelt the ores we found. Let's get them out of our hotbar. Go in here. And you go in here. I will smell the ores we have and keep digging. <coughs> la 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 la. Let's build another window in here. Place another torch. Are you ready? Yeah, the copper bars are ready. No, we don't need to smell that for now. Smell this. Did I start it? Yeah. Oh, and there's more iron ore. We will dig just straight into the wall for now. iron so I can put it in the furnace these will be four more iron bars it should be enough for an anvil at least I hope so okay grab our iron 
And let's see what we can build with this. Yeah, an iron anvil. Good, we will place it. Yeah, why not? For now, we can place it just up here. We don't have enough copper for any armor piece, but we have enough for a copper pickaxe. Hmm. But at first I want to build a weapon. I think this time I won't go with the hammer. Well, it has less DPS than the spear. I want to use the two-handed swords with this character. Yeah, the broken hero sword. I'm thinking about keeping every weapon we found in the game, or at least every weapon we used in the game, not not necessarily every weapon we found, because that would be... Oh, I don't have enough cobblestone for the hoe. So let's gather a little bit more of cobblestone. This may be dangerous. We will get it from over here. I'm always trying, at least near my home base, to dig stuff that's not disrupt disrupting the view of the area. So that's why I dig the background cobblestone too. So we don't have to. We don't have a single cobblestone piece sticking out, and also this this doubles the amount of cobblestone I get from one place. And I will try to preserve the natural look of the landscape as much as possible. That's the reason why I don't just dig a huge hole in this cobblestone here. because we don't want our home area to look ugly. The tree can stay there. Hmm, maybe I should... No, it's all okay. What are you doing? So that was that. Then we need more wooden planks. And now we should have, have enough for the stone hole. Oh no, we, we need way more wooden planks. Good. A wooden hole. Okay, that should be more than enough for our first plants. The wheat and the corn and also the potato. And yeah, I would say that's it for this episode. We will see you again in the next episode. Until then, have a good time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye bye.